All right, so before we can even think about working on the boat itself, we need to talk about the trailer. There's a lot to it. There's a lot of maintenance that needed to have been done on it. If it wasn't done, it was neglected or whatever the case may be, it's gotta get fixed. So we're not even gonna talk about the boat for right now. Let's talk about the trailer and how we're gonna get this thing back up and running. So take a look, we got a flat tire. You may or may not know this, but some of these tires, if they sit in your backyard after a while, the rubber's gonna dry out. You may have nails in it, hard to say, right? But you need to check your tires. As you can see here, and I did this off camera, is I checked the tread, but it looks like it's dry rotted. So if you start to see dry rot around your tires, consider replacing it. Especially if you're taking these things up to highway speed, you don't wanna risk a blowout at 60 miles an hour, especially with a heavy I'll go ahead and get these mounted up first thing tomorrow as part of this project. We wanna make sure we can get to the boat ramp with no problem. Interesting enough, they do show for trailer use only. So they do have some of these that are rated for cars. So make sure that you get the ones that are uh, loaded properly, meaning these load ranges for these tires are, I believe a D rating, which means that they can hold, I think it says, yeah, right up here, uh, one ton. So make sure you're getting a good tire, not necessarily putting a, a car tire on these. So we'll go ahead and get these installed on another episode, but I just want to show you, take a look. We got all four, so we're going to get those replaced soon enough. Each one is 50 bucks a piece. So if you can imagine it's a really good investment for $50 a piece to make sure you have fresh rubber on these things. Definitely do it. Let's go ahead, get these installed on the trailer and we will be that much closer. This is a good time to go in here, inspect underneath your wheel well. Make sure you don't have any rust if you do. Maybe put some uh, primer on it or some bed liner on it. Take a look here. This is kind of important. If you can see a lot of grease coming out and it's not surprising, like I said, this, this is from 1974. If grease can get out, there's a good chance that water can get in. So definitely consider redoing the seal at a very minimum. If you're gonna pull the seal out, you have to pull that bearing out just because you've already done that kind of work. So we're gonna go ahead now and pull this uh, buddy bearing off up front here. And we'll start, we'll pull the buddy bearing off first and then we'll get in there and, and uh, start removing this. First thing you wanna do is let's go ahead and get this buddy bearing off. I use a rubber mallet so you don't damage it. Spin it around 180 degrees just to kind of loosen it. This one looks like it's pretty well stuck on. Almost off. You can see we got some new bearing grease on it. I had put that in originally. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and get that keeper off. Use a little bit of paper towel here. Wipe this off, and you can see the keeper is in there. Go ahead and rotate that back. So get that little paper towel out of there. Let's see if we can grab onto it. All right, we got the keeper off. Go ahead and set that down. And these shouldn't really have any torque on them. So you should be able to just use vice grips spin it off. I'm not going to use my hand because this, this grease gets all over the place. I'm trying to keep my gloves clean if I can help it. All right. There we go. There we go. There's the castle nut gone. Then from here, Pretty self-explanatory. Pop it off. Look at that. Left the old bearing in place. And take a look at this. The seal itself came out. We're gonna need to inspect in here because that is, that's not a good sign. That is definitely not a good sign. If it walked out like that, there may be damage on this axle in general and we may 
may need to replace it. We'll have to take a look. All right, let's go ahead. And you want to try to clean this off pretty quick. If, if you're in a dusty environment, dust will like to stick to all this. So this is a good time to get some of your shop rags out. Also gives you a chance to inspect it. And that's what you can kind of see. Oh, this is kind of interesting too. This may have actually made the seal actually deteriorate quicker. Look at this. I don't know, that looks like fishing string or something. It looks like it got wrapped around the axle here. And that could have tore the seal up. Let's see if there's any more here. Oh, it looks like that's it. Let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit more. Let's see how this looks. Now, if you're wondering why I'm going over this, it's kind of an important thing. I see a lot of guys with boats on the side of the road. And I've seen a few actually have to do a wheel bearing on the side of the road. And why, why put yourself through that? You know what I mean? Just spend the time. It doesn't take much effort to check your wheel bearings. Watch this video a few times if you need to. And just put a new wheel bearing on it. Especially if it's an old trailer. Like I said, 1974. This is a no no brainer. These look like it wouldn't surprise me if these are original bearings. It really wouldn't surprise me. But we won't know until we kind of look at it a little bit closer. All right, so all in all, this, this little shaft here looks pretty good. We got a little wear along here, maybe a little, little looks like a little bit of heat here where it built up. So you could tell these, these bearings may have not been in the best of shape for quite some time. All right, we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and we'll take both of these hubs on the bench and start looking at them. These are the bearings that I'm gonna use. I'm used to using Timken bearings. This is a, a new brand that I found and it says that it's USA. And when I go to open and check the bearings out, there's no markings to say that it was manufactured overseas. So it looks like these are U.S. bearings in some capacity. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but it comes with a new seal, cotter pin, and then the bearings for the front and back. If you need the part number for what I'm using, it's L68149. And then we also have the L68111 bearings in here, along with the appropriate seals. So that's what we're gonna use to rebuild these. And just give you a quick shot here. You can see here, this is a good up close of the hubs. You can see this one is definitely, this seal has been leaking a lot. And then this one may or may not have really even been place I'm kind of questioning that but yeah that seal is definitely not in very good shape and then that leads us to the bearing that's in here just kind of floating around it definitely had plenty of grease I can tell you that we'll clean that up and see where these were originally manufactured because sometimes you can you can tell it's written on it this one doesn't appear to show any writing on it so far all right and then obviously it's going to leave the race in there and we're going to need to clean all this grease out of here and pull the let's pull the bearing out of the other side as well all right and then from here the trick is you want to make sure you get all the grease out and then once we get all the grease out then we can use a bearing or a, a race removal tool and pop these uh, races out on both sides what I like to do with these hubs is I like to tighten them pretty tight to set the preload and then I'll back it off sometimes like a quarter turn just so uh, there's enough room for this to spin you can hear here a nice good sound all right cool let's go ahead and take the cotter pin I already backed it off and you can see it's not still loaded up. And we'll 
we'll go ahead and bend that in place and we should be good to go to put this wheel back on. Be careful there. We actually will shear off a stud. Okay, I'll go back through and retorque these down by hand. But that is replacing a wheel bearing on your trailer. Hope you liked the video. As always, hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you thought it was helpful. Leave some comments in the comments field below if you have any questions. We'll catch you on the next episode. Have a good one. I think I busted the stud off.